we are we are nature we are 40 percent the same as a banana nature created us nature developed us all we have in us is nature we just have food in us that comes from nature that that food gets light from the stars so the light sends photons the stars send photons and the light and the plants eat those photons turning it into biophotons which we then eat or animals eat and we eat animals and so our bodies are sort of made up from stars if you like it's quite a nice analogy now what happens is, is that if you introduce atheism into humanity what happens god was already messed up you know i hate the word god i can't stand it it should be consciousness when, when, when we had this consciousness, and what consciousness is, is about connection. It's about connection to the objective, connection to something bigger than ourselves, to the interdimensions, to all sorts of things like that. And what happens is, is when you get technology, technology comes along and it starts to replace nature. And when it starts to replace nature, the, the atheism, first of all, atheism comes along because atheism is to prepare you for technology atheism comes along and it gets rid of nature nature's stupid yeah don't listen to those occultists like isaac newton even though we're going to use some of the things that he said because the alchemists although they're the forefathers of modern science we're embarrassed about them now so don't listen to them and all those shamans and healers you know don't listen to them we've now got doctors yeah doctors know best okay and don't listen to the plants anymore okay you don't even have access to the listen to the plants because you've lost all the technology the the, the plant celestial technology to listen to the plants because plants are teachers they tell you stuff no now you must go to university and you must listen to to people not to plants but to people you can listen to god and you can listen to angels and you can listen to academics but you can't listen to plants anymore what happens is is, you, is with the atheism the atheism creates a vacuum and it's in humans natural nature i believe that they need something greater than themselves to believe in um, if they can believe in themselves then that's a good start because if you can believe in yourself and you know where you came from that can link you into something much better when the atheism came along it was caused by religions religion was there not to help you become closer to God but to separate your relationship with God that was the whole point of religion and the religion was to prepare the technology to come in and to replace religion and spirituality so the religions then confused people they started arguing they started creating wars they started killing people they killed the witches they killed um, the locals they killed the indigenous they killed the animals they killed the planet they killed everything that's what religions did religions killed everything because they confused man's mind and so man got confused and he got tired of religion and then he decided that he wanted to be an atheist so Buddhism is sort of the best thing for moral atheists, isn't it? Because you don't actually need to have a God. When Buddha was asked whether God existed, he refused to reply. That's how I understand that one. So it's not that Buddhism doesn't believe in God. It's just that it refuses to say, to give an answer. So that it allows help to those people that don't wish to believe in God. That gives them a moral compass. When the technology comes along, technology replaces, it fills up that vacuum which was created by the religions to create atheism. And now it's giving us AI. So technology is going to become the new religion. That's the whole point of technology. It's to replace, to create a vacuum and then to fill that vacuum up.